What's up guys, today I am going to show you how to update your UI in the top down shooter and add menu. So let's get started. Uh, first of all I want to tell you that if you get this type of glitch, a big box uh, in the near spacing, you just take this and delete the whole block and make a new block. Build 3 and then 0 and then 12 would happen every time it just happens first time or sometimes so now we update we will update our UI so now as you can see this is still a variable so I'm gonna make this better so we have to make two variables or for this sprite only variable to render and another variable called clone variable to render for the sprite only make them hidden, hidden. then set a variable to render to the value edit this block and add a variable and add a input and put this var inside this and the same process the variable should be the first variable we have is cache then go to clone and go add your go to front layer and show make a different one when I start as a clone and remove the forever from it and make a new block him create clone then uh, add variable variable and uh, add add value and add a var name and then go here then put here a uh, set clone variable to render to variable to render and add a if statement here if um, clone variable to render is equal to var name or variable name or you can swap these positions then the following thing will happen let's add a when I start as a clone forever put your create clone variable to put here a variable you wanna render cache add value cache and if you want to make a clone for score you can add here a double score and type your score then duplicate this and add your variable score um, you can also edit this block and add add coordinates <coughs> x and y then put your um, <coughs> go to x and y as input then you can add your coordinates minus 200 and 160 and as here it will be minus 200 and uh, 140 let's check if it works so it's working this is the cache variable and this is score as you can see when I kill this it's upgrades but both of the variables are using with cache so you have to fix this then go to this and remove this cache and put here this variable block you forgot to do that now it will work perfectly as you can see when I kill this when I kill any enemy it will increase by 1 and so now they are rendering 
so you can make the score hidden and now we'll add the name to them make a variable called clone type for, for this sprite only make it hidden clone type set clone type to 2 then uh, create clone of myself and then set clone type to 1 and then the further things put this here then go here and I start as a clone if if clone type is equal to 1 then this thing will happen but if it is equal to 2 then uh, switch to costume cache go to front layer and show right and if should be the outer in the outer side then put here up when I start as a clone if clone type is equal to 2 switch to costume variable to render go to front and show so this will work perfectly now we can see that it is going off the screen so its degrees are x2 minus 180 now this you can also make it minus 175 now they are visible clearly so when I kill this score increases when I collect the coin cash increases now I'll make the menu create new sprite name this uh, menu x to 0 and y to 0 and then make a layout So here's the menu. This is the layout with a, only a play button and title. So this is the background and this is the button. You can segregate them. Layout, background and play button. So now go to scripting. When the green flag clicked. Hide and make the same block here. Build build number start start put it here build uh, one and two two clones with starting from zero when i start as a clone if if clone number is equal to one then switch to costume background and if it's equal to 2 switch to costume play button forever if and else touching mouse pointer set brightness to 30 and else set brightness effect to 0 then if put your and touching mouse pointer and mouse down this makes a replacement of this block um, when this this sprite clicked this is only for the sprite and this can be used for clones and even in sprites but it is not uh, much stable so put your broadcast start call a message start and then make a variable for the sprite only then make a broadcast here you put it here start delete start menu and then yeah wait until until not mouse down 
so now it will work then now put here uh, when I receive message uh, delete start menu set or delete all clones to 1 and duplicate this set delete all clones to 0 and add here a delay of 0 0.1 seconds and add here a small script and a green flag uh, when I start as a clone forever if delete all clones is equal to 1 then delete this clone so this will delete all the clones made by the main menu and you have to not delete each and every clone by making different scripts so let's check if it works just a small mistake put here a go to front layer and show now the game is already started even if the menu is not deleted so let's go to player and every sprite and put here when the green flag clicked hide and when I start as a clone oh sorry when I when I receive start all the script should work make these changes in every sprite so now let's check now this is working you can also decrease the brightness to minus 10 so it will be visible like this now you have to add go to player and add a go to front leg the sprite will be now displayed and everything will work as fine thank you guys for watching i hope you like this series